I hope everybody's doing well. Figured I'd get on here and kind of put a little dampener, put a little dampener on this Russia coup bullshit. You know, Putin is very well guarded. He's got more crap than probably the President of the United States at his disposal. little different system. Fact of the matter is, is there's a lot of disinformation out there. The only thing you need to listen to and trust in is God. It's already been written. Prophecy's already been, for, you know, told. What happens, how it happens, pretty much. But you you got all these other people out here running around like Chicken Little. The sky is falling. Oh, my God, the sky is falling. The sky is falling. And, and someday it will. And then someday they'll go, oh, my God, look, look. See, I predicted all this, and boy, look how great I am. Man, I told you so. If you say enough bullshit, you're bound to be, something's bound to be true and something's bound to happen. If you say enough stuff. It's like a broken clock right twice a day. There's nothing wrong with prepping. There's nothing wrong with getting some more supplies. There's nothing wrong with any of that stuff, okay? That's just being prudent, just being smart. There could be disruptions and things. We just don't know. <clears throat> but that's life. We don't know. But these people play on your fears. What's the first damn thing out of their mouth? Click. Like. And subscribe. Why? So, so they can sit on their ass and make money off you. Then if they got a few little things to sell you, like some merch... Oh man, look at this. This will oh, this will save your life. Oh, you got to have one of these. Man, this is the miracle cure. I mean, oh here, buy all this food that you got to figure out what the hell to do with when you can't carry it all to your secret rendezvous hideout that everybody else knows about too. You know, you got to you got to think for yourself and think logically. Even the best plans don't go as planned. They're a plan. They usually don't work out. It's better not having anything at all. But if you're smart, you can adapt and overcome. And a lot of people, well, it's like the governments around the world. I mean, they're all incompetent, just like ours. And you hate to say it, but they're all corrupt just like ours. I mean, the things they want to do and this and that, it, it, it's got, yeah, there's too many of you around. They need to get rid of, I don't know, you know, seven, eight billion of us. <laughs> they don't want us there. But forget all that. Even when the crap hits the fan, you're going to have, especially local people, local authorities, cave. They're not going to be able to handle the influx. People are not going to be thinking straight. It's going to be a survival mode. They're going to be out for themselves. And in a situation like that, I don't care. Your, your local law enforcement and... And authorities are not going to be able to handle that. Matter of fact, they won't even show up for the job. They'll be at home taking care of their own, trying to take care of their own, trying to get them to safety, wherever, whatever. So, you don't have a lot to worry about. You know... Just don't make yourself a mark by looking better than everyone else 
with your solar panels and your generators and blah 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 I mean you know just put a list together you'll be a target I mean you sit there thinking you know oh hey you know we're gonna bug out to our little cabin that's got all the amenities of home dude you're not gonna live very long out there oh I'm the greatest shot in the world I'm great I'm wonderful boy I got booby traps I got this I got that yeah okay sounds good more power to you hope everything works out for you but it don't usually work that way so I'm just saying Don't let these people get you in an uproar and a tizzy. It's just like making money, you know. Oh, I got the inside tip. Boy, listen to me. Boy, wait till the end of this and I'll tell you all about it. Boy, you're going to make, you're going to be filthy rich. Really? If you were so fucking smart and knew everything, why the hell are you sitting on there telling everybody these great wonderful tips? You'd be sitting on some fucking paradise island, you know, and, uh, uh, kicked up and uh, all stocked up waiting for the end of the world why the hell would you be on, on this bullshit right just like all these preppers you know oh I got all the answers boy look at me look at me you don't know shit I don't know shit God's the only one that knows God knows we don't by the grace of I. That's right. By the grace of God go I. So people. Think about what I said. Don't let these people get you in a tizzy and an uproar. Going. Oh my God. I got to do this. I got to do that. I can, I'm, you're never going to have enough preps. That's a fact. This isn't a. What was that movie, Back to the Past or Blast from the Past or ever, where they lived underground for 30 years, you know? You know how long it'd take? You know how many preps you'd have to have? So, be wary of the news. A lot of it's just propaganda. A lot of it's bullshit to scare you. To lead you down this path over here when you should be going down this path over there. People. The devil's been doing this a long time. He's got his uh, little bullshit perfected. You're just a little pawn in there. So I keep saying. Trust in God. Pray to God. He'll calm your heart. He'll take the anxiety away. And you'll walk in his path. Doing his will. He will. He'll take care of you man. He's already beat the devil. He's already paid for your past. Present and future sins. You just have to accept those. You have to accept him. And repent. You've got eternal life already if you just do those things. There's nothing the devil can do. There's nothing these people can do here to the physical body. Eh. Just remember. These people are preying on you. Preying on your emotions. Your fears. The devil loves preying on your fears and your emotions. So, they're making money off you. They're living their lives, laughing all the way to the bank. I know I'm preaching to the choir. But enjoy the life you have. If your life sucks, it'll always suck because that's the type of person you are, that's how you're made. But if you're a person that's normally a happy person, feeling pretty good about things, 
and they got y'all worried and up in a frizzy and an uproar and this and that about things, well, get your head on straight. There's no guarantees in life. No guarantees on anything. Except God. So anyways. Just. Pray for one another. Be kind to one another. Help one another. You don't know what the other guy's going through. He may be going through a lot of bullshit too. And he puts a smile on his face. And these people get on here and want to. Destroy that. Destroy your happiness. If you go outside right now, I don't know where you live. It's dark. It's light. The stars are out. It's nice. It's cool. It's hot. doesn't matter. If you live in the city, just go outside and look. Look out your window. It's all still there, people. It's still a beautiful place. And God's in charge of it all. And it's still a beautiful place. Enjoy it. That's why God made it. He made it for you. He made it for you to enjoy. And have dominion over it. Not to destroy it. Not to make it into hell but to live and have fellowship with one another and don't let these people take that from you don't let these people take the joy from your life by trying to scare you in this and scare you in that Don't worry about anything, really. God tells you what's it add to you if you worry. Nothing. Bad things still happen to good people. That's what they say. So. Well, I'll cut it off here. I can ramble on and on. Don't really feel like it. But y'all take care.